Yeah. Dude, like I'm cracked out, dude. Why is my webcam not working, dude? So, uh, question: Do I get a Twitch, uh, a Twitch subscriber thing? No. Yeah, yeah. Do you not have the Twitch subscriber roll? I don't have it. No, I don't. <sighs> I'll get it to you. One sec. Why is my webcam? Mechanical mute. <laughs> Mechanical mute, dude. Here, let's try this again. No, I'm, I'm, got, no, I'm playing. <sighs> I, I'm mute. All right, come on, webcam. Time for you to work, webcam. There we go. We're out here, dude. I did. I gave you a bond coin, dude. What are you talking about? I, I totally gave you a bond coin, dude. I hundred percent gave you a bond coin, dude. Yes, dude. You got it, dude. You got it, bro. Don't worry about it. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Office Hours. This is the stream where we help you out. We do math and science homework. My name's Doctor Gold. Uh, we got some special guests here in the chat today. Who we got? We got mechanical oh, dude. On. Demented is back, dude. Damn dude, special, I haven't seen Demented, dude. Damn, Damn, you are special, special, dog. Damn Where the special? fuck? Where have you been, Demented, dude? Where have you been, dude? Uh, busy with work. I'm not gonna lie to you. Busy. You're not busy getting banned on Twitch, right? Uh, uh, yeah, dude. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that, dude. It was Minecraft. <laughs> you're, ha you're hacking on Minecraft. What's this? What's what's what? You need a minimum of 50 bits. Is that what it says? It says you have to cheer with 50 bits? I don't know. I, I set it to something so that... What was it? What was it? Uh, uh, who is it that did it? Oh, Obama just kept cheering with one bit, dude, but he cheered like 100 of them, and then it just like completely spammed. I was going to do that. Yeah, no, you can't do that, dude. <laughs> because then people complain, dude, because they're like, I can't hear the stream, because all I hear is like, boring, boring, boring. <laughs> so I was just like, no, okay, I got you, dude. Um. Anyways, stream manager, give me a second here. I'm, I'm a little, little caught up getting stuff ready for today. Why is that not right? Okay, cool, good. Oh, yo, dude, thanks, bro, dude. Hundred, 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 a hundred bits on the cheer, dude. That's sick, dude. Nice, dude. Look, dude. Oh, I love that, dude. What's that? What's that emoji that happens, dude, with the the hands, dude? That's super. I think cool. it's called the not like this, right? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, not yeah, like this, dude. It's called not like this. Not like this. <laughs> okay, that's cool, dude. Um, nice. All right. Have, have you guys? Uh, so what? We had some big big announcements today. Uh, your mechanical. Your your keyboard is clicky as fuck, dude. <laughs> Yeah, that's because if you look at the Supreme Court, I'm I kind of have some free time and I'm having a huge headache because like someone wants to just say something. The Supreme uh, Court. Oh, the Supreme Court. Oh, you guys are in the Supreme Court. Yeah, how was that? I well, you guys voted getting, on it, honestly. I'm 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 getting annoyed as right now. Oh yeah. Yo what, yo, what you, invite me. I'll be an amazing lawyer. I'll you guys, you guys, you guys voted on it, dude. I literally put it up to your guys' vote. Like, do you want to make Raiden the Supreme Court justice? And you all voted yes. So that's what happens. <laughs> like, I mean, I voted yes, but I didn't know that I was just going to get, like... Uh, you're just going to get roasted in the court, dude? No, not, I didn't get roasted. It's just, that, like, it's just that, like, one dude wants to say this, one dude wants to say that, and it's just making no sense. All right. Well, all of this, get lawyers. Set up some lawyers, you know? I need to set up lawyers. That's what I need to set up. I need to set up lawyers. All right. Yeah, I'll be a lawyer. Got, Lawyers, Clifford, and uh, Mark. Dude, lawyers, We're dude. Oh, I will vote. beat them in a lawyer fight, bro. I am the best lawyer, hands down. Damn, dude. We should have, like, a debate class for you guys. Oh, yeah, debate class. That'd be an amazing time. Actually, okay. No, 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 wait. No, wait. Cool, cool, announcement. cool announcement coming up, guys. Cool announcement. Okay, so um, my my buddy, um, his name is Sawyer Alterman. He's created, actually, kind of a debate-type game, guys. Oh, I love uh, this. Yeah, right? Isn't this going to be super cool? And so we're going to we're gonna test this out on... um. We're gonna test this out on uh, on Sunday. It's gonna be That's like dope. Oh, it's gonna be even, super dope. That's yeah. dope. You guys had office hours or whatever. What? Yeah, we have office hours every day, bro. Bro, what? Uh, no, what are you, you didn't know oh, we have office, office hours, dude. DMs now. Oh my god, oh, okay. I'm scared. Um, You're late. What you mean? Oh, I'm not late, dude. I'm here, dude. What are you talking no, about? Ramaru, bro. Uh, Ramaru's late. Okay. All right. Yeah. Anyways, okay. So no, no. So kind of cool thing. So here, let me let me show this to you guys. It's it's um. This is what we're gonna do. Um. I'll show you too. It's called like let's argue app dot com. I think let's see. This is it. We're gonna here, I'll just make it an account or something. Uh, that looks so cool. What the heck? <laughs> this is I'm over here walking. How's your guys' day? 
Hi. Did you did you go to uh, did you go to chess club today? Yeah, I went to chess club. Nice, dude. Congrats. I'm Wait, glad you went. To to That's dope. What's up? What's up? Um. But then wait, someone where? turned out to be five, like ten minutes late. Well, it's not working. Uh, okay, cool. So, um, here we're gonna like here. This is an example of like what we're, what we're gonna do, guys. Um, if this will load. Oh, actually, oh, Sawyer, dude. Sawyer, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I gotta talk to Sawyer about this. Never mind. Take us back. Anyways, we're gonna have like kind of there's, there's like a debate type class. Uh, it's it's something where like you guys are gonna pick an uh, a topic to argue about. And then um, you're both going to, like, present points. Like, you're going to be able to debate to be like, I believe this or I believe this. Like, maybe, I don't know, like, Spongebob is better than Pokemon or something. And No, never. Well, well whatever. Like, yeah, you guys, you guys are going to pick. We're going to have some, some – we're going to have some topics for you guys to, to debate about. And then uh, what's going to happen is there are going to be other people in the uh, room, and they're going to be, like, the judges. And they're going to decide who wins the argument. So it's going to be really cool. We're going to try it on Sunday. I'll make an announcement about it, and we'll give out a bunch of MT coins and bond coins for those who win. You know how much times I've almost, um, I've almost, um, what's it called? I've almost walked in the bar just by texting. Well, don't, please don't walk into traffic, Grim. I don't want you, I need you to, I need you to live for a couple, a couple more years, hey, dude, at least. Hey. What's up, SpongeBob? Hey, go. Yes, Jack. Um, can I be first? Because I was in here first. Did you, did you post your question in office hours first? No. Oh, this girl your, from my school. Post, post, post your question in office yeah, hours. First, 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 first person to post this their question girl. in office hours, I'll go over it. First person. Dr. Gold, this girl from my school, she's going to yeah, give me some gonna um, me. I forgot where I was learning today in Algebra school. 2 notes. <laughs> she's going to give you her Algebra 2 notes? That's great. I'm glad. Yeah. Talk to girls. Get your Algebra 2 notes. <clears throat> I also invited her to the server. Yo, you know be oh, so nice, good. dude. We'll be so good, dude. Like, if you have, like, uh, toast with peanut butter. Toast with peanut butter. I like I like toast with peanut butter. Toast with peanut butter with cheese, dude. That's my that's my jam, dude. Mm. Yeah, dude. Toast with peanut butter with jam. I think Shores should get a bunch of bond coin for his work yesterday. You did do a bunch of work. Yeah, yes. that's facts. That's facts. We appreciate it, Sor. Um. I have one, but like I I there's like no way I could put like a picture in office hours, but I have. One. What do you mean you have one, but you can't put a picture in office hours? It's easy, just like because put a screenshot. Like, because it's like no 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 like. I don't have like I don't have ways of putting screenshot. All I need to learn is like l uh, literal equations because we're gonna do a mini test on that. So like, all I need I, to learn I, is I literal have, equations. Thank you, Jack. I don't, I don't have any like uh, sort of like picture or anything to describe because she just said you need to learn it. You don't have any homework. Like you literally don't have a no, picture of homework no. that you've had to do or anything. No, I don't know how to make no, homework. I never have homework. It's just what? work. Yeah. Do, do you have a picture of like the stuff you work on? Do you have a textbook that you work out of? Yes, but that's in the school. But oh, it's, it's called, uh, it's called, like, literally. He can't, he's not muted. Like, um, it's like, uh, it's like, it's like doing AX plus B equals C, but then it's, uh -huh. like, a little bit weirder because then you have to do, like, 2X plus 3Y equals 9, and then you gotta solve for Y. Okay, cool. That kind of stuff. Uh, let me actually see if there's an example. Yeah, you should go find an example, dude. That way I can help you with it. Okay, oh, ja Jack, are I, I you here? Just, I just found a perfect example. All right, good. Thank you. you good. Good, then post it, dude. Something. Jack, what's up, Jack? Are you ready for your question? Let's go through your question, then I'll deal with whatever is happening in the Discord. You ready here, Jack? I'm here. You're not Jack, dude. Hey, yo, Jack just became... Blue. Yeah, Jack just aged like 10 years or something, dude. Dropped his voice. <laughs> yo, what? Just dropped his voice by like... Sorry, what was... Pitching. That was not Jack. That was not Jack. That was not Jack. Yo, yo I hope that wasn't Jack, my I don't God. I that was Jack, dude. That'd be Stop, scary, that's Jack. That's not dude. Jack. <laughs> yo, Jack secretly <laughs> been like this like massive. real buff like bouncer, old. dude. Yeah, that's Jack's, a, Jack's the ultimate catfish. Jack's, Jack's been running the... Jack has been running the the baby uh, voice yeah. on permanent, dude. Yeah, that's so funny. This makes sound like a gross. I swear, if he's a, he he has the deep voice. I'm gonna cry. Yeah, uh, no, I don't I have the deep it. voice yet. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. Okay, Jack, are you here, dude? Jack, you here? You here, brother? Oh, I am here. Okay, Jack, here. Which question do you need help with? Number six, <laughs> number seven, or number eight, dude? Which one Jack do you need help just with? just became black. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God, dude. You guys no. be nice. All right. I'm going to start muting uh, people if I can't. If I can't hear Jack, I'm going to start muting people. Say nothing. 
I had I had to go. All right, everyone's everyone's getting quiet. There we go. Everyone's getting quiet. All right, Jack. I can I can only hear you because I turned everyone else down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jack. Which one do you need help with? Okay. Um, I need number. Which one? Um, number. Seven. Number seven. Okay, cool, Jack. That's a good one. Let's do that. Let's do, let's do question number seven here. Okay, cool. All right, Jack. So what they're asking right here, right? Do you see this? Is they're asking how to add two fractions, okay? What do you know about um what do you know about adding fractions? Uh, um, how do I add fractions? Hundreds and like uh, What do I need for it to be true in order for, for me to add two fractions together? Do we know that? Nope. You don't? Okay, cool. That's fine. Do you know how, for instance, to add like one third plus one fourth? Do you know how to do that? Um, uh, uh. Okay, so Jack, when you're adding fractions together, you need to make sure that they have the same denominator, okay? Do you know which number is the denominator in a fraction? It's the bottom right. Good. This is the bottom number. This is the denominator, okay? So we need to make um we need to make the denominator the same number, okay? So ways that I can make the denominator the same number is I can multiply the top and the bottom by the same number, okay? Um So, okay. What what what's something that like three and four like both go into? This is called like for instance. Do you know what like least common multiple is? Have you heard of this before? What? Say that one more time. Least common multiple. Do you have you ever heard of this LCM? Nope. Okay. Least common multiple means like what's the lowest number that two numbers both go into? So here we're gonna we're gonna write out the multiples of three. For instance, what are the multiples of three? What is three times two? What is what is Try three times two? One more time. What are the multiples of three? Three times two is was, was what? Six. Cool. What's another what's another multiple of three? Three times three. Um nine. Nine. Okay, what's another one? Uh twelve. Okay, what's another one? Let's keep going. Um fifteen. 15. Good. All right. This is this is good for now. Okay. Let's Okay, so in the same way, uh Jack here, let's list out the multiples of 4. What are the multiples of 4? 8. 8. Very good. So we got uh, 8. What's the other one? 12. Good. 16. So no. Good. And then what's another one? Put the tw 20. 20 is another one. Yeah, 24. Or, okay, we don't we don't have to go that high. Okay, so here's what we have to do. So the least common multiple, Jack, do you see how this is common multiple? What does common mean when two things are in common? What does it, what does it mean for that, for two things being common? Like, pretty much, like, like, odd numbers, I would say. It's like they're the same. Common things are, like, the same. You know, like, if you guys have, like, common ideas or, like, common threads, it means, like, the same. So looking at the factors of three, or sorry, the multiples, these are called the multiples of three, right? These are multiples of three, and these are multiples of four. What's the smallest number that both of these have in common? Uh, they're odd numbers and they're even numbers. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but, but do you see how like their numbers are here? What number here matches up with one of the numbers here? Do you see any numbers here that you also see in this list? Yeah, yeah, 12 and 12. Good, good, exactly. 12 and 12. This is what the least common multiple is. So the LCM of 3 and 4 is 12, okay? Does that make sense? Least common multiple? It's like if I do the multiples of both numbers, 
what's the lowest number that they both have in common, right, as a multiple, okay? All right, so what I need to do is I need these numbers, these fractions, to have the same number on the denominator. And the easiest way to do that is to make the denominator equal to what the least common multiple is between 3 and 4, okay? Which we just said is 12, okay? So in, do you know how to change the denominator of a fraction without changing what the number is? Um, no. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the top and the bottom by the same number. In this case, I'm going to multiply it by 4, okay? Because what that's going to give me, what happens when I multiply 1 over 3 by 4 over 4? Do you know that? You know what happens when you do that? Do you know what you get? 8? No. You get 4 times 1, which is 4, over 4 times 3, which is equal to 12. Do you see how this is 4 twelfths? Oh, yeah. Okay, what would I multiply this one by in order to get 12 on the bottom? Four times three. Good, very good. So I'm going to multiply this by three over three, okay? Whenever you multiply a fraction, you need to multiply it by the same thing on the top and the bottom. So what is this going to turn into, Jack? What? What is one over four times three over three? Um, uh, I don't know. Okay, well, let's see how we multiply this, Jack. You see how we did 4 times 1, 4 times 3, right? 4 over 12. How are we going to do this one? Oh, it's the same thing. So same we... thing. So what is it? Yeah, so it's 12. 12 on the bottom. What's on the, what's on the top? 4. No. Top is this, 3 times 1. Oh, it's 3. Good. Do you see how now I have 4 over 12 plus 3 over 12? These now have the same denominator, which means I can add them, okay? If I have 4 12s and I add them to 3 12s, how many 12s do I have now? How many? No, 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 no. 4 of them plus 3 of them is how many? Wait, nine? Oh, no, no, no. I said one. You said one? Because you said you get four times, no, four times four three. Four plus three. Four plus three, right? Four. Wait, I, did, I thought you said four times. But my bad. Seven. Seven, good. You see how this is seven twelfths, right? Four twelfths plus three twelfths is seven twelfths. Good. That's how you add a third plus a fourth. You get this is equal to seven over twelve. Okay. So again, Jack. Yeah, this isn't your question yet, but this is similar to it. Okay. How did you get the seven? Because. Well, because I had a four here, right? So what I did is I turned this, I turned one over three, into four over twelve. Okay. These are what we call equivalent fractions, right? This 1 over 3 is the same thing as 4 over 12. Because what I did is I multiplied the top and the bottom both by 4, right? So that's 4 times 1, right, is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Do we see that? Yeah. Okay. So then I had 1 over 4, which I was able to write as 3 over 12. And how I did that is I multiplied it by 3 over 3. So you get 3 times 1, 3. 3 times 4, 12, okay? Now it's still okay. this thing plus this thing, okay? So this is 4 twelfths plus 3 twelfths. So how many twelfths do I get, right? It's 4 plus 3, which is 7, right? Yeah. Do you see how this becomes 7 twelfths? Yeah? Okay. How okay, did so you get the 12? How did I get the 12? So what I did here... Yeah. Four? Okay. I did 3 times 4 on the bottom here, which is 12, and I did 3 times 4 on the bottom here, which is 12. You need to make sure that these are the same before you can add these numbers together. Okay? 
So let's look at your original question here. Look, we have 13 over 100 plus 9 over 10, okay? So I need these to be the same the same denominator. So can I... Yeah? How do I put the 10 to 100? Um, you add a x plus 0. You got to multiply by something, right? What do I multiply 10 by to get to 100? Um, 10. 10, good. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 10. Good, Nick, yes. Right? So yeah. what is this now going to become? So I have 9 over 10 times 10 over 10, right? You always want to multiply by the same thing on the top and as the bottom. What is that going to equal to? Um, 90? 90, good, very good. Divided by what? 10. No, what's 10 times 10? 100. Good. So now what I have, do you see how I have 13 over 100 plus 90 over 100? Yeah. What is that going to equal to? Um. What's 90 plus 13? Oh, 90 times? No, this is plus, Jack. This is plus. This is a plus. Sorry, sorry, I don't, I don't, I didn't see that. Um, okay. three. What does it mean? A hundred and three. Good. It's a hundred and three over a hundred. Okay. This is your final answer. One hundred three over a hundred. Cool. Yeah. Does that make Does that make more sense to you, Jack? Does that make sense? First, ten. And 10. Nice. Okay. Awesome, dude. Glad. There you go. Bond coin. Good. Thank you. What is the Thank answer? You. What is the answer? It's 103 over 100. 103 over 100, dude. Cool? Cool. He says cool. Nice. Okay. Awesome, dude. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. Uh, who else had a question here? Mechanical Holy does. Holy water you is the best water. Holy water is the best word. Sore technically had the next question, but Sore, yeah. are you in the... Yeah, Sore, Sore, Sore is next. I'm after Is he Sor. in the chat? Where is Sore? Sore, where are you at, dude? Where's my Where's my number one donor? Sore is in the chat, I think. Is he? Or, or he's AFA because he's not in the VC. Sore, Sor, hop in the... Here, I'll, I'll, I'll ping him. Sore, hop in the VC. You want to go over your question. Where is... Hey, yes, they are. Yeah, where's where's sword, dude? There's Ash. What's up? Ash is here. Cool. Nick's here. Good. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no. Um. <laughs> oh no. Guys, guess what? Oh no, the table is broken. Oh no, what? the table is yeah, broken. Yo, what the hell? I knew someone was gonna say that. What's oh no, the table is broken, dude. What is that? Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, no. The table. It's broken. <laughs> what the? What? Is this a meme I should know, guys? Oh, no. My it's... brains have broken Here. because of Grim. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's look. Oh, no. The table is broken. Is this really a thing? Am I going to look this up? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. The table, table is broken. Oh, oh. Oh, it's a Roblox joke. It is? It's... Apparently. For a time, you can save big on 5G Samsung uh, phones. I don't want to save big on 5G Samsung phones. Let's see. Oh, that th <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Is it this? Oh. Oh, okay. All right. I have never seen that before. Oh, I've never seen that before either. That's funny, dude. Damn mechanical, dude. We got to fix the gate on your keyboard, dude. 
That's loud as fuck. Oh no! Nah. Like I'm just getting so many messages from so many people. It's kind all of right, pissing, all right, know? all right, all right. But you got to turn your gate on and your mic if you're gonna do that, because otherwise it just floods the stream, dude. So like, can I get my question? You can, you can, because Sora's not here yet. Yeah, you can. Right. Let's do, let's work on your question, dude. Cool. Um. Let's do it, dude. Yeah. Okay. So that over there, it shows like an example, but like the questions on the left, that's like something I don't, I don't really know. She showed like a little preview, like the last five minutes. Oh, okay. This is just like, like yeah, no, this is fine. It's fine. Liter literal equations. Why is it called a literal equation, dude? Literal is like the worst word for things. You have got to literally do it. Like what? Uh. Okay. Cool. Let's. All right. Let's say you have. Uh, oh, why am I my pen pink? <laughs> I want my pen to be pink. Here we go. Okay. Let's say I have 4x plus 3y equals 6, and it says solve for y. Okay, what does it mean when we say, like, solve for a variable, like solve for y, for you, instance? You basically have to get, like, y as its own number. Good, yes. yes. You got to get y as its own number, all right? How do I get – so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify, like, what variable I'm, like, going after. I'm going after this variable, okay? What's the general rule, guys, for, for solving for a variable? What, what, do I, what, do I, what do I attack first? The variable. You attack the stuff that's furthest away from the variable, and you try to move everything over to the other side. Okay, so what's the furthest thing away from this y? That's at least on this side of the equal sign. The 4, right? We're really just the 4x, right? What's the 4x doing to the 3y? Nothing. It's adding. <laughs> it's definitely... Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's adding, it's but it's like, not doing if you nothing, were to, like, dude. add it, it wouldn't really do nothing. Oh, it does do something. Yeah, what? what? Uh, Yo, first I mean, Steve combine like, like turns. That's true. Cool. That's true. Or something like that. Yeah, but no, it can't combine. Yeah, but you see how it is trying to add, right? So how do I get rid of this 4x? Nick, you're right. We, we should combine terms if we have, but all, everything's combined here. We don't need any more terms. So what, what am I going to do with this 4x here? Subtract it. Good. I'm gonna subtract 4x from both sides. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. So then it's going to become 3y, 3y equals 6 minus 4x. Good. Okay. What do I do okay. next? Yeah. Um, so again, we're still we're trying to strip. We're trying to. We don't remember what you don't remember what your teacher said. Remember what you're trying to do, dude. <laughs> like, I give a fuck what. I'm gonna no, no, like she do. was explaining and I was I was like reading the board and stuff. So I'm trying to remember like what I was doing like in school. We want you to remember how to do it yourself though. So again, I'm trying to get this variable by itself, right? Mm -hmm. What's happening to it? Oh, you know what I think you should do. You gotta what? divide it. By what? Uh, by three. Nice, yeah. So this yeah. is being multiplied because, by three, so I'm going to yeah, divide. Uh -huh. And everything careful, you have to divide three. everything here by three, right? Mm -hmm. So you could do it individually like this, or you I'd can do the whole do thing over three. Yeah, right, you can do it individually. That's cool. Whatever, we'll just do it individually. Okay. I feel like individually is like uh, way more safer. I mean, not safer, but like... Uh, safer. Faster. Practice safe Practice safe algebra, guys. Um. So yeah, this is six over three, right? Minus 4x over 3. Mm -hmm. Okay. I Which you can simplify like this. It. Yeah, what's 6 so over y 3? y equals 2. 2 minus. Minus 1 and a half. No, this is 4 over 3. 1.33, my bad. 1. Yeah, what's, is that, actually, you should just leave this as a fraction, dude. Just leave it as like 4 thirds x. That's that's the real way. Don't okay. don't convert everything to decimals, dude. Decimals no. are like ugly. Like, don't do it. Also, like they're imprecise. Technically, you'd have to write one point three 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 three. Put a bunch of fucking repeating signs on it. Okay. All right. Cool. That's an easy example. Let's get a little bit harder. Okay. You want to get a little bit harder? Let's get a little bit harder. Okay. Let's say I have. Yeah. <laughs> let's say I have four over x plus y over six is equal to negative eight, and I say solve for x. How are we going to mm. do this, guys? All right. You multiply. Multiply? Right, because, so, like, since they're, like, fractions, they're basically dividing. So, like, you got to multiply it. Well, let's let's look. Let's look first. Again, look. What variable are we going after? This right. one, right? What's the thing that's happening furthest away from it? Uh, y divided by 6. It's getting added. Y divided by 6 is getting added. Yeah, don't don't worry about the y is getting divided by six. Who gives a fuck? Like, something is being added to this, right? And what is that? That is the y over six. So what am I going to do to both sides? Subtract. Subtract y over six. Okay. 
So you see now I have 4 over x is equal to negative 8 minus y over 6. Okay. What am I going to do next? Next, what you're going to do is you're going to divide again, right? What am I going to divide by? By 4. Good. You can divide by 4. So divide by 4 means I divide by 4. Divide by 4. Okay. So what is this going to turn into if I have 4 over x divided by 4? Just 4, right? Just what? Oh, it's going to become 1, right? 1, and then what else? X, it's not 1x. Just... No, it's 1 over x. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was 1 over x. Look, because yeah. look, if, if, you're, if you're dividing by 4, right? 4 over x divided by 4. Let's remember like how we divide fractions, right? Dividing fractions is easy as pi. Just flip the second, right? So flip 1 over 4 and multiply. See how you get 4 over 4x? Four is going to cancel. You get one over x, right? Yeah, yeah. I never really learned this. But... Well, good. Well, that's why I'm here to teach you, dude. All right. So one over x. Okay, cool. So then this is negative eight over four, which cool. That's negative two. What is this going to be? What is negative y over six divided by four? What's that? Uh, sixteen. Multiply. Flip. Uh -huh. Is it going to be like? Y over 24, negative good. Y over 24. Good, yes, exactly, dude, yes, yes, good, yes. Negative Y over 6 times the flip, 1 over 4, that equals negative Y over 24. Very good. Okay, cool. So this is minus Y over 24, all right? Okay, this is a slightly complicated thing, right? Because now what you have is you have, uh, let's move this. No. Uh, fuck, I uh, fucked up. I hate it does that there you go okay this is slightly complicated here mechanical because do you see how like x is on the bottom mm -hmm. right this this is a special situation whenever you have one over x and you just have it like this what you can do is you can do what's called a flip okay so i can turn this into x over one but that means i need to flip this as well which this is going to flip like this one over minus 2 minus y over 24. You see, I just took this whole thing and I just did 1 divided by? Flipped it, yeah. I you flipped just, it. That's flipping it. Yeah, you yeah. basically just flip the x, uh, the 1 over x, and you just divide it in the right, right. side. Right. You're only allowed to do this mechanical when you just have 1 over x, okay? Another way like this happens sometimes, like, let's say, for instance, you had 4 over x equals 3 over 5, right? You you really only want to flip flip these both when like they're easy to flip. So this would become x over 4 is equal to 3 over 5. Or sorry, 5 over 3. See how I went like flip, flip. And this is, you know, this is a little bit easier to solve because now you just have x is equal to... Like the butterfly method or something? Yeah, so that's the other way. The other way is if you literally have like, like 4 over x over th equals 3 over 5, Right, if you just have, this is called the butterfly, right? I think they call this, right? Because this looks like a big butterfly who's like, yeah, I'm going to go fly off to, I don't know, fucking somewhere. Uh, <laughs> yes, what is the butterfly method? How, how do you do this? It's called like, I, this is called like cross multiplying is what it's called technically. It's just cross multiplying. Yeah, so what, what would the cross multiplying be? Uh, it's going to be uh, 4 times 5. So we're gonna 4 times 5, good. Over, and then x times 3. Uh, it's not over. It's oh, going to be oh, equals. Under, my fault. Under. E no, not even under. It's going to be equals. So you're going to do these two, right, times each other, equals these two times each other. Okay? Oh, okay. You see how this is going to become 20 equals 3x? So then x mm -hmm. is equal to 20 over 3? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's another way to do it. Okay, cool. Let me think of one more. One more. One more tricky one. Um. Okay. Let's say we have uh, A times C plus B times D is equal to C. And let's say I say solve. Uh, no, actually, let's make this a little bit more interesting. Sorry. I saw this in, like, uh, school earlier. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I saw it in school. Like, before we were doing, like, linear. I mean, uh, 
whatever we're doing right mm-hmm. now. I forgot what it's called. Literal equations, right? So, like, yeah, literal equations, yeah. And I saw this thing, and oh my god, it hurt in my head. Just, it hurt your head? Because you're not, because there's like no numbers here. It's all letters. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine, dude. I, I know, I know. The letters scare you guys, but they're literally the same as numbers. Like, n- numbers, letters, doesn't matter. You're just writing shit down. As long as, like, you do the same things to them. Like, numbers are nice, right? Because you know that, like, one number plus another number, right, equals another number, right? Three plus four equals seven. That's nice, right? <laughs> A plus B we don't know what that equals. We, well, it could equal C, but you know, it's it equals something else. But like, yeah, it's another another thing, right? You can't combine them as easily as you can with other numbers. But okay, so let let's try to solve this thing for A. How am I gonna solve this thing for A? So it's like A C plus A D equals C. But like, can we like rephrase that to N yes. X plus B? No, that's no, no, no. That's I know. That's like the equation of a line or something. But no, no, no. We don't want to do that. Uh, no. Okay. So always identify like what variable we're we looking for, right? We're looking for a. Mm-hmm. Right. We're trying to get this by itself, which is kind of weird. This is actually kind of a. A um, let's actually here. Let's let's do it this way. Let's say I had five x. Plus three x equals y and I said solve for x how would you do this simple I would simple. turn the y simple. into a zero subtract no. three from both sides then it would become 5x equals 3x what? oh no. wait what's 5x plus 3x 8x. 8x good see how this is 8x equals y and then what yeah. do you do Divide. Both sides by 8, right? See, this is x equals y over 8. Now, what happened here when you combined terms, mechanical dude, is you basically, you factored out an x. Have you have you done factoring out shit yet? You like factored, factored stuff? I have, but like, I kind of forgot. The okay, do you see how there's a common thing being multiplied by both of these things? Yeah. That means I can pull it out. So I'm going to pull out the x. And then what is x being multiplied? X being x is being multiplied by five, right? X times five, five x plus, plus three. three. Good. And this is what like eventually simplifies, right? To x times eight equals y, which is why we get eight x, right? Equals y. Do you see how like that simplified down? Okay. Let's try and apply the same thing here. See how a is getting multiplied? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So then we just turn it to A times C plus D. Yes, dude. Fuck yes, dude. Nice. Equals what? C. C. Okay, last so step. It just, but then wouldn't it just become like A and then C, D or something? No. Close. You're getting close. So we have A times some shit, right? How do I get rid of that? Track? No. What's the opposite of multiply, dude? A times some shit. Divide. divide. Good. Yes. You're going to divide by C plus D. Okay? You see how that's going to cancel this? And we're going to divide by C plus D. So eventually, what you're left with here, mechanical, is A equals C over C plus D. Does that make sense? So you just, you basically like just took the C plus D and you put it in a whole nother side. Yeah, yeah, I treated it as like as a whole thing, right? It's the same it's the same thing here, dude. See how this 5 plus 3 became an 8 and then I just divided both sides by 8, right? Y over 8. I I could have divided this. I could have done x divided I could have done x times 5 plus 3 divided by 5 plus 3 and then I could have done y over 5 plus 3, right? You see how I could have I could have divided the whole thing out and it's the same stuff. That's that's literally what happens. Um, okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, nah, it's still it's still a bit confusing for me. Okay. Think of this this 5 plus 3, right, is the same thing as an 8, right? If I had x times 8 equals y, right? What's happening to the the x? The x is being multiplied by something. What do I do to get rid of something that's multiplying by something? I divide by that you something. Divide it. Uh-huh. Right? See so yeah, how this is x equals y over 8? It's the same thing if we have stuff in parentheses. If I have x times and this thing is in parentheses, this is like this is like a whole unit is what this is. This is like what we call like absolute unit, you know. Um, this is still just one thing, 
I can divide it. I can divide this whole thing by 5 plus 3 and divide this by 5 plus 3. And I'll get the same answer. See, x equals y over 5 plus 3, which is the same thing as y over 8. See how this this is just a number, right? This this is this is this is this is this combines to be something like this is something that like we're gonna do the steps at a later date, right? It's just a number. James, every it's just a number. Uh, like this, God damn it, Grim, Grim, chill, dude. Grim, so, no, like, no. This thing is going to be eight here, mechanical. Do you see this? This is just eight, right? I'm just dividing by it. I'm just I'm just I'm not simplifying it yet. I'm not adding five and three yet. Uh, so when when we had this right, I have C plus D in parentheses, right? I'm just I'm not gonna add them together because honestly I don't know how to add C and D together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide by that whole thing. I'm gonna divide by the whole C plus D, and that's how I'm able to get rid of it. So it becomes A equals C over C plus D. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. So you basically just took the C plus D and then you just like subtracted it. No, I divided it. Sides, I divided, so divided it. it from both I divided sides. it from both sides. And then A equals C over C plus D. Good. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Messy as fuck. You're welcome, dude. Nice. Okay. Dr. Gold, do you remember how what? we were talking about log yesterday? Yes, log. What's up? Yeah, log. Uh, my friend, my friend. My friends, so like in chess club, the chess club is um in a room that's used for pre-calculus. Oh, okay. So, like, so... And my and my friend pointed that out. The my friend that's eleventh grade in eleventh grade pointed that out. Mm. And I'm like, oh, cool. And then she said, she said, do you know what log is? And I'm like, thirty-eight yeah. bond coins. I said, you, you know, and she said, what? Noise. Yes, I said, yeah. And then that's she said, dope. did a thing for the formula. Hi, right, Doctor Gold. I'll be oh, back wow. to play some Warzone. All right, peace, mechanical dude. That's awesome, Grim. So like, yeah, because we went over we went over logs, right? Uh, in in the last yeah. office hours, and so like you saw that yeah. on the eleventh grade math board, and you were like, oh wow, like I know that. Yeah. That's cool, dude. See, dude. That's, cool. that's dope. See, that's that's the advantage of coming to actual education, of coming to the streams here, is yeah, that you learn. Right, now, so. right, you learn things, or you'll you will have seen things that you won't see for many more months until you get like further in math. And so well, it's like 11th uh, grade, bro. That's exactly be like right. Pre-calc in 11th grade, bro. Yeah, but, but yeah, she been... offered. She she offered to give me her notes for algebra two for a week. Oh, that's nice of her. I don't that's think I'll nice be able to her, get dude. that all in a week, but like. Mm. Okay. All good, dude. All good. Okay. Nice. I have a question. Yeah. What's up, dude? Uh, what's it called? I'm trying to remember that lesson we had today. So in class, <laughs> we had a lesson. I didn't know much about it, um, but it was asking us whether it was linear or or not linear in um, okay. with a with a chart. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, 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 whether 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 like if they give you like x and y values and like whether something's linear or not linear. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I, I was confused the whole time because I I slept for a little and then I also went to restroom for a little so. Oh, I need some help. Stay, with that. stay in class, dude. Stay in class, dude. You are number one, sore, dude. Sore's number one. I'm dude. number two. I'm number two. Sore, you can always come well, in the, the in voice the chat, and I'll I'll help you with your math question. Um, we were looking oh, for I'm you in earlier. The voice chat. You are. Oh, yes, I got a question. Once this one is done. All right, all right, all right. We'll do this real quick. So, uh, Grim, here's how you tell something is linear or not linear. Okay. Let's say they have a bunch of x values here, like three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then let's say this is, I don't know, like 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. This is an example of something that's linear because do you see how the difference between these numbers is always the same? Yeah. See how this difference is 2, this difference is 2, this difference is 2, this difference is 2? Oh, constant rate of change. Yes, and actually, so technically what you have to do is you have to look at the change in this versus the change in this, right? So this is 2 and 1, right? So this, this rate of change is 2 over 1. This is also 2 and 1, right? So this is 2 over 1, okay? So here, let's give something a little bit harder then, okay? What if I gave you this? Uh, we did 0, 0. <laughs> what? 
Ooh, hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate, dude. Awesome, dude. One sec. Uh, I gotta hydrate. I have I have um nine hundred seventy nine channel points. Nice. The dude, raids be... are actually really helpful. The uh, having having the having the subscriptions is helpful. You mean? No, the, the okay. raid. Oh, you know how you raid it, and it gives you four hundred oh. points every time. Oh, does it? Oh, that's cool. Oh, good for you guys. Yeah, it yeah. gives you it gives you like it gives you like four hundred to three hundred every time oh, wow. you raid. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Yeah, nice. I think if we can work participating in the raid, we get those points. That's sick. Um, I'm glad you guys get the raid. Um, okay, one sec. Um, okay, so here, here this because will yeah, because now everyone else is gonna know about the raid. All right, here, here's a question here, Grim. Is this a linear? Is this linear or not linear? Uh, it's linear. Why is it linear? Cause it has a constant rate of change, I guess. What's the rate of change? The rate of change is uh, a times c a no, no, times no. c plus d. Rate of change. No, no. Rate of change. No, rate of change is always y two minus y one over x two. Who the fuck's yelling in the back of your your thing? Uh, <laughs> sibling. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Okay, Jesus, what? Like, who the fuck's getting murdered? Uh, it's y two minus y one over x two minus x one. That's rate of change. Okay, okay. So you take y this, yeah. Yeah, I okay. keep forgetting about that formula. Not you should, you should never forget this one, dude. Never forget this one. Always remember, it, dude. Yeah, my so, teacher okay. also said that. Well, yeah, then again, teacher, we're not wrong. Teacher ever been right? Your teacher is not wrong. Okay, so what is what is y? Time. What is y two minus y one here, dude? Well, I2 minus Y1 is like the, the rise over run. Yes. Good. Okay, but let's let's apply it to here. Let's, let's for instance, let's apply it to these pairs of numbers, okay? See so how we have 0, comma, 0, and 2, comma, 4. What's the rate of change between these the two comma. points? It's right here. Where's dude. the comma? It's right here, dog. What? Green? Oh, oh. No, I am very one. retarded. No, I just noticed one, that my, uh, my my Twitch was paused the whole time. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's not pause your Twitch, dude. Okay, the okay. comments right there. Uh-huh. So dude, what's the rate of change? In. I can't see that. That's like two eight, right? No, it's two and four, dude. What it's these numbers, dude. It's two oh. and four. <laughs> it's it looks blur it looks blurry and it looks like a two and an eight. Okay, it's two and a four. This is a two and a four. What's the rate of change between these two points? Well, that, that's Three another changes, set. Um, uh huh. That's another set. Then, right. so that means um, the second one is going to be six twelve. So that means the six is on the bottom, right? Good. And the twelve is on the top, and then the the four is on the top. The four is on the top two. That'd be eight. Good. So this is twelve eight minus four, right? Good. Good. Yeah, eight, o eight over eight over, over four. Good. See how that's two. And then you can do this one, right? We can do yeah. this rate of change, right? This rate of change, right? BRB. My mom's calling me BRB. All right, you're okay. It's four minus zero over two minus zero, which is also equal to two. So that's a, even though this difference here is four and this difference here is eight, the rate of change you have to also look at what the change in the x value is and just see if that rate of change is the same. So in this case. It is. They're both equal to two, so this is linear. Linear functions have a, a, a constant rate of change between all the points. If the rate of change was different, um, so for instance, if we had, let's say we had uh, x, y, we had 0, 1, 2, and then we had like, I don't know, like 3, 9, 27. These are not constant rates, right? This is a change of 6. This is a change of 18. This is what we would say is not linear. Okay. Back. Grim, okay, cool. Grim, I was just I was just showing that like so if I did the rate of change between these two points, the zero zero and the two four, I would get four minus zero over two minus zero, which would also still equal two. And so because the rate of change between these two points and these two points, and if you did it with these two, these two would also have a rate of change of two. That means the function is linear. Okay. Okay. Now, here's an example of something that's not linear, Grim. Do you see how x is 0, 1, 2, but then y is 3, 9, 7? Or 3, 9, 27? 0, 1, 2, 3, 9, 7. 27. Okay. 
But do you see how the difference between these numbers is no, is not the rate of change is not constant, right? This rate of change between these two points, right, is equal to six, whereas yeah. the rate of change between these two points is equal to eighteen. That's a different rate of change, right? And so if you have if you have different rates of change, then um, it's not linear. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Lol. Yeah. Okay. Lol, he's I was throwing a bag out at the at the. At the park, it it, uh -huh. it 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 was full of stuff, and that, that guy just looked at me like if I was carrying drugs or something. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, technically, sometimes tackies can be considered drugs with the amount of fucking sugar they put. No, in No, not tackies. Uh, just a bag of random stuff. Oh, uh, not tackies, I had to throw dude. Away. Okay. What's up, Demented? Did you got a question, Demented? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I had a question. What's up, dude? Demented, Simpon. Okay. Uh, Doctor Go, before I ask the question, oh, Doctor Go, wait, are you I have with a question. French? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Um, can, instead of instead of a bond coin, can I get 500 MT coins? Uh, I'm gonna do that next week. Next week, I have to make it fair. I have to make it fair for everyone. I'll tell everyone that that we're doing MT coins for questions. Fine. Yeah, but good idea. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so What's up, Demetrius? How good are you with French? Because most of my questions are French. French. I'm fucking terrible at French, dude. What? Oh, me, God. me and the French don't <laughs> get along mind. very well. Uh, yeah. I know Spanish. I know Italian. Is that uh, the limp parfait with the speak conditional? Speak Spanish, speak Spanish. You want me to speak Spanish? Me llamo Giovanni. Yo soy un... Uh, Amigo. Wow. That's actually pretty good Spanish, not gonna lie. Yo estoy un... Uh, what is it? Insen enseñato? Enseñato? It's teacher? Profesor? Uh, que enseñar matemáticas y física y química. Para todos los estudiantes que no pueden uh, uh, recibir uh, educación uh, a la casa sua. A las sus casas. I guess that's how you do it. Yeah. I used to have a Colombian girlfriend, and she didn't really speak English, so I had to learn Spanish. Um, but that's I only really learned, like... Gentleman. That's right? a gentleman. Right? I only really language. learned, like, girl girlfriend Spanish, which is, like, not really the most proper Spanish, you know? Like... <laughs> He learned it for his girlfriend. This is a true man right here. Folks, you if you're listening to this stream, uh, pick, pick up Dr. Gold. True man right there. <laughs> He's a true man. That's dope. Uh, it didn't end up well, but it was it was a fun relationship, and I learned some Spanish out of it, so it was cool. Win-win. Um, Win-win, dude. Win-win. Uh, okay, does anyone else have a math or science question? I wish I could help you with French. I could help you with Spanish, but yeah, French is... It's a, yeah, uh, French is... Interesting. Where, French where, where, kills where do you? Oh, oh, you're in Canada. That's why. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. They and speak have to French take up the there. Delph test soon. Are you in Quebec? Good. Are you in Quebec? Nope. No. No. It's, no, because I have to take it academic for the university that I have to go to. I need four years of a, of a certain language. Four years of French or four years of just a language. A language, but since I'm way better with French than any other uh -huh. language, I still respect uh, French. So. Oh, that's cool, dude. Nice. Sick. Okay. Nice. Okay. Well, if we don't have any more questions, uh, I'll start the gaming stream. Do you guys want to play some games? We'll play some games. I only have Let's... Valorant at the moment. I need to get. I need to get Valorant. I think. I don't. I don't know if I have Valorant yet. I. I really should get Valorant. Valorant uh, is really fun. I've heard it's. It's kind of like All the right, Counter Strike. People. It's like. It's like yeah. the modern day Counter Strike CSGO. or something. Yeah, modern day uh, Counter Strike with superpowers. Think of that's it like cool, that. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Modern day with with superpowers. Sort of beg to differ, but that's enough. He says I beg to differ, dude. What do you mean? You, 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 I you literally out, have a I dude who is immortal. I tried out Valorant and like I I loved it at first, but then like it was just too sweaty for me. Like people oh, were yeah. throwing out fireballs from their moms behind and stuff. I was like, hell no. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah and I you just couldn't go against it. Phoenix. Oh yeah, yeah people Fe spam yeah, Fe I, like whoever mains Phoenix, I just genuinely hate you because like, yeah. Well, is Phoenix like ah. the OP character or something? That's, no, yeah, no, that's no. like one of the characters' names. Did, no, wait, do they all have abilities? Cool. Is this one of these yep, games where like they have abilities and stuff? Ability. Oh, Phoenix's no. abilities is you make a f uh, he's a fire dude obviously from the name Phoenix. Uh -huh. So one of his abilities is uh, throwing up a firewall. A second is throwing a fireball that um, blinds you for a few seconds. Yep. Oh, yep. damn. And then another one is you throw it at someone to burn the ground. Yep. His ultimate makes him immortal for a oh, few seconds. Oh, they have seconds. ultimates and stuff him, now, too? To yeah. Oh, wow. He's the default character, so he's not that good, but if you know how to use him, he's annoying. I see. I see, dude. That's cool. 
It's just like someone who throws flash grenades every few seconds and then he. Dude, that's me with restock on Warzone, dude. I fucking. I, I I I think I've recently become in love with restock again. I think I'm gonna run it this time. I do I do I do enjoy just like spamming flash grenades on people. It's 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 Are quite you fun. A Warzone Doctor Gold. I am I am I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw some I'm Warzone on. I'm just letting on. you know right now I'm waiting. You're waiting you know, right I'm now. I'm a nice person. I'm waiting. That's good of you, dude. I'm glad that you're waiting, dude. Uh, here, let's, let's, uh, let's always turn Always first, on. you know, I'm always first. Alright, I'm gonna, we're gonna raid, raid the new channel, so you guys can see this, so here, I'll stop streaming on this one.